How do you do this? Okay, how do you do this? How do you actually create this abundance vibe if you're not already experiencing it? Well, I mean, I, I give you a little bit of insight into that where you can start focusing on some of the things you're grateful for in life and start focusing on your attention on the things you want to experience. Withdraw that power away from the negativity back into yourself and start putting it back out there again in a positive form. Okay, now I'll, I'll give you another little more formal process that I use still to this day and it works like a charm. It is, but I'll tell you, it's going to be a little difficult to apply, not because it's difficult to actually do. It's very, very simple and very, very easy to actually do it. But it's difficult to get your mind around the idea that this is how reality works. That reality works in such a way that we really are in this matrix of sorts that's responding to our vibration, that's responding to the energetic signature we're putting out. When you put out an abundance signature, your reality will respond by bringing you experiences that match that state of abundance. Okay, like massive opportunities, you know, coming to you in business, um, plenty of friendships coming to you, like all the friends you could possibly, um, you know, have, lots of love coming to you, just lots of joyful experiences, new experiences, growth experiences, plenty of money flowing through your life. Okay, always being able to afford what you want to, what you want to buy or experience, never having to say, I can't afford it. Okay, that, that's, that's the type of reality that is manifested when you put out an abundance vibe consistently and dominantly. When you put out a scarcity vibe, you get things like, bills that are bigger than your paycheck and overdue payments and, and, and you know, massive debt that feels very disempowering to you because you're just giving your power away to circumstances beyond your control. You're making yourself powerless. So reality says, okay, you want to be powerless? I will show you that you're powerless. That's exactly what happens. All right, so here's, here's a process you can use to help yourself shift your vibration. And I'm going to explain this in the context of creating an abundance mindset, but really you can use this to shift your vibration in any way, shape, or form. What I do is I'll just sit down and lie down on my couch, I'll lie down on my couch, or I'll sit down on my couch, and I'll close my eyes, and I'll simply imagine the new reality I want to experience. Okay, so if I want to have money flowing through my life, then fine, I'll imagine that. Okay, and I'll imagine it as real and feeling good to me. And it's, I'm already there, and I'm seeing it fully associated, so imagining whatever scene I'm seeing, I'm seeing it through my own eyes. I'm not imagining myself in the scene and looking at it through a third-person perspective. Okay, so I, could, I feel the emotions more strongly when, I, when I'm seeing it through my own eyes. And it's not the visualization that's so important. The visualization is merely a tool to create the vibration, to create that feeling. So I have to get, to, I have to get in that mindset of asking myself, okay, if I was already there, how would I really feel about reality? So if I already had like massive financial abundance, how would I feel? What is the feeling that would come up in me? So I have to imagine different scenarios. Okay, like I can go shopping and I, I, like, I have massive amounts of cash in my wallet. I can buy whatever I want. My bank account is always refilling even after, after I spend stuff. Like what would that feel like? Just like living in a, my dream home, you know, um, having like any kind of experience, never being blocked from me because of a lack of money. Like what would that feel like? Being able to travel wherever I want to go. On a moment's notice, what would that feel like? Having lots of loving relationships around me, all the friendships I could possibly want to connect with, all the intimate connections around me I want to have in my life. What would that feel like? You know, having lots of love in, with other people, lots of caring. What would that feel like to be there? And for, you know, maybe a few minutes during that time I do it, I'm able to experience what that would feel like. Okay, I don't know, feel like, wow, I would feel like I'm so lucky. Like I, I want, you know, how did I... How did I get so lucky to have these kinds of experiences? I would wake up feeling absolutely grateful. I would go to bed feeling grateful. I might even be like so grateful, I just, I start crying because I'm thinking like, like this is amazing to have this kind of life. Like I'm so lucky, I'm so fortunate. So I just kept focusing on that feeling of being so lucky and so fortunate. Now the first time you do this, you may only be able to hold, you may only uh, lock into that emotional signature for maybe 30 seconds or a minute. You know, it might, have, it might take you a while to like visualize the right way of thinking about it such that you're, you're creating those feelings. Okay, but just keep doing it again. Do it 20 minutes every day. Okay, every day. Now the goal here is to get good at doing it during those 20 minutes. So you really get good at locking onto that emotional feeling. Eventually you will figure something out. You'll picture some scene that will make you feel just like so abundant. Okay, like for me, it might be just like picturing a travel scene, like I'm going you know, on a trip somewhere and I just have, like can afford any experience I want. Another thing for me I love to picture is just like having intimacy abundance, like a wonderful feeling of connectedness with other people in my life. 
so that I care about these people in my life and they care about me and we know each other really well and like all the walls of social conditioning are just dropped between us so we're like open books to each other and we just we encourage the heck out of each other and having you know a number of different friends where I can have that type of connection with and they can have it with me and just feeling so loved and supported and other people that I can really love and support in what they're doing and how they're living their lives as well and just that that sense of just feeling really good about life okay being able to create that feeling now, for that 20 minute period, you may be able to experience it you know, for longer and longer periods of time. Like you, you'll get good at it. After a few weeks of doing this, you'll get pretty good at it. And you should be able to experience some of those feelings, you know, different variations on them, all different little subtle aspects of that, of that vibration you're trying to create for you know, maybe 15 out of the 20 minutes. Good. Then the more you do this, what's going to happen is you're going to start to feel that vibration come up elsewhere in your life. Like even when you're not doing these little visualization exercises, you're going to start to feel it again. Like later in the day, you'll go, Oh, I'm feeling that abundance state again. It just gets triggered. Okay, that 20 minutes is really just a practice session. It's a conditioning session. Now, I say 20 minutes minimum. I really think that's about the minimum you want to do. But you can do it anytime. Like, I'll do it when I'm driving my car. I just think about the feelings. I just think about the situations I want to experience and the feelings that give rise to it. And I just allow myself to feel that. Don't play any music on the radio because it might be distracting. Just, just feel it. Just put yourself in that state where you feel it. Or if you're standing in line somewhere, just feel it. When you're waking up in the morning, Okay? Try to create that feeling right as you're getting up. When you, as soon as you lie down and go to bed, make it a priority. Just like create the feeling as you're going to sleep. Whatever feeling you want to shift into, create it right as you're going to bed. So I would just do that religiously. The more you know, often you can do this, the better. Sometimes I'll just set aside an hour or an hour and a half just to lie down on a bed and, th and think about what I want to experience in life and create these feelings of abundance. Now, you do this. And what will happen is, you know, these, like I said, these feelings will begin to infect more and more of your daily life. Pretty soon, after a period of several weeks, maybe a few months, depending on how, how much you practice this and how well this feeling is spreading throughout your life, and how much else you have, else you have in your life that's working against this feeling, okay, eventually you reach the point where like, more than half the time, you're feeling these feelings. Okay, where it's getting just, it's becoming stronger and stronger, it's becoming a part of you. And you're shifting your dominant vibration. Okay, if initially, these 20 minutes are just a small slice of your vibration. It's not going to have that much of an impact. The, the real goal here is to shift your dominant vibration. So you're going through most of the day feeling abundant. Okay, this is like this, the way I'm behaving now, this is how I feel normally. This is how I wake up feeling. This is how I go to bed feeling. This is how I often feel when I'm interacting with my friends. I just feel happy. I feel excited about life. I feel passionate because I'm experiencing so much of what I want. You know, it's, it, the life I'm, I'm creating is, is like within my power to manifest. So I don't have this feeling like there's stuff out there that's frustrating me because I can't create it. I just know I can create it. Okay, so getting to that place where that becomes your default state of being. Okay, that's, that's the goal here with doing these exercises.